There we go. Well, hi everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... Please, Sir Mike, Lieutenant Rakir, at your service. And welcome to Dredge, the Pale of Reach DLC. Now, first off, uh, we had originally planned to do two streams today, but uh, the family decided that we'd start cooking our Christmas stuff for Christmas dinner, which is tomorrow for us, uh, to, at, well, the same time that we would typically be streaming, so a bit of a scheduling pro problem on that. Maybe we can get something in tomorrow, though I'm not so sure we can get something done with multiplayer because Rom has been uh, <coughs> Rom has been having a bit of complications from what I've been reading in a shared server that we have. <clears throat> okay, nothing too dangerous, at least it seems to be. But yeah, at the very least we can get to return to Dredge here with, well, the new, the Pale Reach DLC, which I know pretty much nothing about other than, well, the blindingly obvious. It's going to be a, a chill ride. Yeah, and I want to be, I know from an accidental spoiler due to YouTube's those 40 seconds autoplay, was a, some kind of white creature yummy out in the water. I want okay. to run away from it as quick as Puff. I did. I didn't want too much spoilers. Let's see. Richman, have you run into the photographer on your travels? She docked here a few days ago for supplies. I suggested that she take some pictures of the town for promotional purposes, but she didn't seem too interested. She mentioned she was heading south. Perhaps you should introduce yourself. Okay. <laughs> immediately getting a hook as to where it's likely to be. So, let's see. The Gale Cliffs, Marrows. All right. We still had some of... It's... it's did I place these here or were these placed here? Let's see. I think the game has one decent patch since last time that we played. Yeah, other than stuff like uh, map markers and such. And hello there, Marco. <laughs> Let's see, I, I thought you were done with this game. We were with the base game, but now the DLC is out. And, well, <laughs> we can start with that. Yeah, but this is south. And I, I don't uh, remember oh, if the... Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> need to screw out a bit more. Okay, which also means that there's quite a bit of extra sp uh, space on the sides now where other areas could go. And also, before I forget, how are you doing today, Marco? Yeah, how are you today, Marco? Let's see. And Might yeah, as well head we out. We, now we have all the damn uh, upgrades. Yeah. Let's see, we've got as many of these as we can have at the moment. I think there are still possibly a few more upgrades to get. But for the most part, the most part we have everything. There are a few yeah, of these quests that we didn't do. There's at least one we failed, I believe. The one to get through fish to the, uh, the hooded figure. We did not fail on... Uh... They the diver. <laughs> yeah. Though I think that they've changed that quest up now, so that if you get you yeah, that it, it can't be failed if you wait too long or such. I'm forgetting on the details of that. Uh, let's see, Marco. Right. I'm okay. Sick, but okay. There's three more quests you didn't discover. All right. I'm not surprised. Um, oh yeah, welcome to the sick club. And uh, yeah, there, there's space for about four more quests here. And oh, the, the pale reach has its own <laughs> has its own board. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay, it's going to be a bit of a gamble since we don't know anything about any <clears throat> about any islands over there. Though I can see something in the distance already. Let's see. Next to the camp, next to the dock is a daily campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. Let's search. An extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric has collapsed at the base of some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable about it. 
Okay, inspect the symbols in the sand. The symbols span the breadth of the camp, twisting this way and that. Some are grouped together into what must be words. Press footprints, thread carefully around each symbol. The last symbol trails off hurriedly and looks unfinished. So we interrupted someone. <laughs> Marco, ah shit, here we go again. <laughs> Let's see, inspect the footprints. Whoever left the footprints was barefoot. The prints are large and wide, perhaps indicating they were left by a man, but you don't know much about footprints. And what about the last symbol? Oh, a glint of metal shines up through the sand. Okay, I'll nab that. Hmm. So we just missed something. Might not be the best idea to rest here, but I want to have as much time as possible to travel. Hmm? <laughs> I, I don't think Bigfoot is Eldritch. <laughs> they're uh, they're a cryptid. Not they're, they're typically not associated with Eldritch <laughs> phenomenon. Okay. As so much as I hate the open ocean, it looks like we will have to just go until we get over there. Uh <laughs> On some games I would be fine with this, but knowing this is Drench... Yeah. <laughs> Plus, well, there's a big chance that there's going to be... ...new beasties? Uh, um, no, those are orcas. They're still bastards in their own right, but... Uh, a lot less worse than could have been after us. Wait, are those really... Oh, yeah, there was a bloody damn pig. Did they just add them there, there, there for the spectacle or just to jump scare you? Could have been much worse all the same. Let's see. Hmm. Eldritch, does that include Cthulhu? Uh, yeah, Lovecraft stuff is Eldritch. I can, it's considered Eldritch, I believe. Eldritch and Cosmic Horror. Yeah, I, I think basically that two things mean basically the same, Eldritch and Cosmic Horror. Kinda. Hmm. Anyway, seems someone beat us here. Down here to investigate the Icefield too. It seems to have appeared out of nowhere, and my best guess is that it drifted up from the south. Either way, I thought I should set up a platoon here, but when I went to shake and st yeah, stake my claim, I noticed some old equipment on the ice. Yeah, there's a shack over there. Mm. Come and check it out when you get a second. In the meantime, I've got some new rods for sale. They'd be perfect for pissing in the ice around here. Okay, should have been what? expecting that as well. Wait, there's an entire thing, it's a floating glacier that floated all the way here? Looks like it, or that's the best guess that we have at the moment. And what do you want to suggest then, Marco? Wait, there's a festive game. Let's see. The traveling merchant has you know, yeah, has crossed over to the nearby iceberg and is inspecting some old pieces of metal. You approach. Hmm. Why do I? Why am I getting a the thing vibe from this thing? It's so weird. This stuff seems old, like really old. She kicks a large sheet of metal half embedded in the ice. A thin layer of a thin layer of snow dislodges, revealing lines of rivet holes. Huh. Come in here. Look. You follow her into a small makeshift shelter, ruined by years of harsh, wi uh, harsh weather. Almost said harsh winter. Inside are some schematics nailed to a table, still barely legible. Hmm. See how they angled these sheets and the lining of the metal around the bow? Whoever was here, I think they were constructing an icebreaker. Okay. <laughs> then the game marker has in mind is called Cthulhu Saves Christmas. I know that there's a game called Cthulhu Saves the World, uh, which is supposed to be a, a parody or satire. I still, I still, <laughs> I still uh, am blurry on what actually is the difference between those two at times. <clears throat> it's, what's an icebreaker? It's you need the reinforced structure attached to the front of ships to help them you know, safely cut a path through ice. Hmm. With these plans, I could probably make another. Hmm. She trudges outside again and paces up the length of the metal scraps on the ice. 
We've got most of the basic materials here already, but of course we're missing the most crucial pieces. Mm. An icebreaker needs specially tempered angled metal, as well as components designed to minimize the impact to your hull. You can't see any of those here, but whoever left all this stuff here, maybe they left other pieces elsewhere? <laughs> it's... No, that... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that game is the sequel to Cthulhu Saves the World. I might take a look at it. Hmm. For now... Or maybe you'll be able to find our old ship and salvage the icebreaker they already built. That would be convenient. Anyway. Hmm. To build a new icebreaker, these are the parts we'll need. Uh, okay, just... Uh, different parts. Icebreaker plow halves. Bracing. Okay, that is going to take up quite a bit of space. Speaking of space, I failed to notice that we have a bit of extra over here. I don't think we can upgrade our ship any further. Probably a bit still. We can check in a second. Probably unlocked new upgrades for the ship. And also, here's something uh, to think about. What do you think the thing was inspired by? <laughs> yeah. Let's see, Mount of Madness. Two... <laughs> yes, the thing is inspired by a bloody Shogaf. Okay, that explains quite a bit. Now, let's see. We have a glacial lens, which allows us to fish. Uh, bleh, allows us to catch ice fish and oceanic fish. And a barbed ice rod, which is less effective, but it also takes up more space. Let's see. That one is 391. How much do we actually have at the moment? Up uh, there, we have we have more than plenty. <laughs> Let's see, we still have the flame of the sky. And I don't think we're going to need most of these. Like we, have, we only have this one in here because we get extra fishing speed from it. And well, this thing is just absolutely massive with how much it offers. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, the floating dock. Okay, so we can still upgrade further. Don't know if this was here before or not. I think that's new. Hmm. Unless we did forget. Forget. I would not Could be surprised. Be. Let's see. Yeah, we need to complete some of these still to fill this in. For that, we need two. Lumber. Five lumber. Nope. Six lumber. Okay, eight no, lumber which, total. Is, which one is new? Did you lost rows or just lost row? I th I think this is probably completely new here. <clears throat> yeah, that, that would make more sense. Okay, so if we find any lumber, we're going to bring it over here for upgrades. Hmm. hmm. And I'll probably buy this one. But what do I swap out for it? This one just gives so much uh, so much fishing speed that I don't want to get rid of it. These combined actually give more, though. Hmm. Wait, I think you want to read what she's saying here. Let's see. You and I, we've got to avoid risk as much as we can. There's no crew to bail us out if things go south. Yes, we're both operating our ship solo. Yeah, hmm. oh dear. Let's see, it'll probably have to be one of those, so... Ooh. All right, I forgot we had a bunch in storage. Mixed bait, this thing, bunch of refined oh. metal. That... I for a moment mistook it for a Christmas decoration. <laughs> okay, what sort of Christmas decorations do you have over there? I... Just for a quick glance of photo, it was one of those, you know, circular reef things you hang on the door. But, I, but I, I think a lot of looked at it and realized, oh wait, that's not one of those. And something I'm noticing mm -hmm. now with these, this, with the sinew spindle and the other special uh, rods, they have an aberration bonus. So I'm guessing that means a bigger chance of actually catching an aberrated fish. Oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> this is from Marco. It was there before this new patch. Okay, then I forgot. Then I just forgot. Okay. 
Oh, but this is before this new patch. They could have add, added it uh, on the other patch after we finish the game. Uh, let's see. Storage, that thing. Storage. Uh, yeah. Let's buy this one. Install it there. And let's see. Plus 50, coastal and shallow. Yeah, let's get the flexible fishing rods. Move that to cargo. Uh, yeah, rotate like that. Okay, there we go. No. Let me look things over a bit more here. Plus two rod spaces there and there. Okay. Two Hooray. net spaces over there. One more motor space over there. That's a bit awkward. We could put in one of those small things. And one more light. Okay. Now let's see. Marco will be lurking because they're also playing a game. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Uh, but I, anyone else who found this accordion music relaxing? Yeah, it is typically pretty good, yeah. Let's see. The traveling merchant found some materials and schematics on an iceberg near a channel into the ice fields. He thinks the schematics are for an icebreaker, which would allow a ship to break through chunks of ice and get deeper into the ice fields. The schematics calls for some very specific items. We don't have to keep an eye out for those. <clears throat> Pardon? Okay. You've been pardoned. And it looks like it's it'll, yeah, it's split into three parts. Okay. Yeah, we won't be able to get in through places like that. So yeah, we'll definitely uh want an icebreaker as soon as possible. For now, let's take I a look at what we can fish up. I think I heard the ice crack. Yeah, ice fish. That's how it actually looks like. Yep. Okay. Let's catch one more. Here we go. And now it's getting dark. Okay. Um. Uh, that let's was see. not the boat. How did, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see, there is... Aren't I supposed to be able to turn the light off? Uh, miss, yeah, we don't have any crabs with us, or crab pots with us. Yeah, I don't think you can turn off this light, which is always on. And I think the light is actually what kind of protects you at times. Hmm, okay, didn't know that. It's I think dark. is, if you're out in the ocean without a light, yeah, but we know that the, some of the enemies only actually become a danger if we sh uh, have the light on. Like uh, this, the shapes in the mist, or shapes in the air, more like. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not being able to turn off this light can also be a detrimental thing. Okay, more ice fish. It's no big wonder why they're called ice fish. Oh, hello there. Hmm. Okay, what have we here? Oh, just a photographer. Hmm. Hello. I don't think we've met. A fisherman, I presume. Please, try to keep your engine noise to a minimum. It tends to, fri it tends to, the, the, it tends to frighten the wildlife. Uh. There's a narwhal somewhere in this ice field. I couldn't get any further in, so I've been trying to take a picture from here with no luck. I tried placing some scraps of fish on that ice sheet over there to entice it, but I didn't have enough to hold its attention for long enough. I only caught a glimpse. Mm. I don't suppose you have any fish you'd be w prepared to donate to the purpose of wildlife photography? Fill the space entirely with any fish you like. I can't imagine a narwhal is too picky. Okay. So we'll just have to go grab a few more ice fish then, huh? Yeah, and also... Five more. 
very shy of humans. Yeah, kind of why they are so hard to study. Yeah, to be honest, I thought they were actually. Uh, I I thought they were actually a myth until uh, I don't actually remember when. But I, yeah, I was pretty surprised when I found out that they're actually well, actual actual things. When did you learn they were real? Not a clue. There, it's five more. I'm suddenly concerned for Helion here. <laughs> What's next? You think bears are myths too? No. <laughs> okay. Put all of these in. Okay. <laughs> Good thing that a little uh, twister pissed off on its own. That's perfect. Now cut your engines. We need to wait in complete silence. And of course it's, it's going silence. to night. I think I hear something under the ice. I don't think it's going to be your narwhal. Yeah. Oh, that... That's the thing! <laughs> Feeding time feed. That's, that's the narwhal. Uh, <laughs> I think that's something a bit different. At least to what I... <laughs> like, a bit different from what we've seen in Dave the Diver, huh? Yeah, that's the thing I saw for the little glimpse I got spoiled. No, no, I actually took a proper look. No, I know what the heck. I don't know exactly what it is, but that was the thing I saw. I got spoiled yeah. by. Well, it's definitely not a narwhal, so, uh, yeah. What on earth was that thing? I'm not sticking around to find out. And she stays parked. Why do I get the feeling. And expect if the photographer is hurriedly packing camera equipment into boxes, it seems, seems very on edge. You know, that was no regular narwhal. It seemed ferocious, uh, ferocious and hyper aggressive. Animals like that tend to be very unpredictable. These ice fields aren't safe with that thing around. You should consider turning back. I'll be out here as soon as I've packed. Uh, I'll be out of here as soon as I've packed my things away. Uh, I don't give her much of a survival chance, but then again, I don't think we have much of one either at the moment. Uh, do I dare? It's just more ice fish. It's about as boring as their name. You know, that oh, that cracking, I, I, it does not help. I'm trying to figure out what that might be, but... I'm clueless. I know there are some bizarre ice monsters, but one of them I think is supposed to be in the North Pole, not South. Like the... For lack of a better term, Polar Bear Tour? Mm -hmm. I forgot its actual name. I think we just got a glimpse of... Yep, that's one of those. Uh, yeah, if, if we really can turn this thing off, then that is going to become hostile to us. Okay, luckily it doesn't really do any actual damage. It only just, well, drives us insane. So it's... <laughs> it's not completely harmless, but it could be much worse than we <laughs> thought whilst we originally were going through this game. Yeah, oh yeah, I think it'd be... I think if you temper with the light and make you more see more illusions and yeah, it cause more the yeah. problems. Yeah. Now let's see, what is this place? Mm. Not exactly sure yet, but I have a theory. Have you heard the legend of the Pale Reach? It's an old sailor's tale. The story goes that when the fog grows thick enough, the ice appears, seemingly out of nowhere. Hours later, or sometimes days, it vanishes again without a trace. Back in the olden days, they sent a survey expedition in to investigate. Apparently returned with half the crew, either from unity or madness. <laughs> Travel on the high seas in those days will do that to you, I guess. Anyway, I'm not sure about this place. It could just be regular old ice. Yeah, I very much doubt we'd be lucky enough for it to just be ice. But it is ice, but there's definitely something along with it. Yeah, I'm expecting, uh, 
I'm expecting at least one place where we will be dealing with... No, I, I can turn it off. <laughs> I just forgot that we do this to select what we want to control. <laughs> okay, it has been a bit since I played this game, so... <laughs> Yeah, actually, I think you want to turn it off during the day. Says, but why should you have it on during the day? Good points, but we don't have much of a ill effect of it being on during the day. There's something there. Let's see. Yeah, if this game were in first person, I never would have touched it in a million years. But because it's third person... Oh, I'm a lot yeah, more comfortable it, with it. Yeah, I agree. Turn this first person will actually make this game too scary. Yeah, and if anyone ever made a mod that turned this game first person, fuck you. Uh, hello. Yep. Yep, have to swap tracks. This looks like one of the pieces we need. Yep. Sizable thing. Hmm. I'm hearing Penguins? birds of sorts. Yeah, penguin maybe. Let's take a look here. At least this is likely a place where we can rest. A cold wind whistles through the doorway of the only cabin still standing. Behind it, a frozen over dig site is littered with tools and debris. Yeah, we can go to storage here. Though, I don't think we have the space. Well, we have the slots to put this away, but I think it will take quite a bit of finagling to get it to actually fit. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Uh, do, wait, do we have anything else we can upgrade that we can put some of these pots into? Oh, um, maybe we are the wrong place for that. Yeah, and there weren't, there weren't any available cloth spaces or refined metal, and I'm not going to throw any of those away. Uh, let's see, let me put that there. Is there a way that I can make this happen? Uh, hmm. Let's see. No. Like I'm playing Tetris with this. There, we even have some space uh, <laughs> some space left. Okay, we definitely can't fit a second in there though. No. Yeah, wait, look behind the iceberg. Uh, Is it bones? Near the shoreline. Here? No, not Oops. on top of it. Near the, look, there. He was poking there. Are those, are those bones? By the beach? You know, I, I think that's... Now, now I think that's uh, one of another of those feeding spots. And this... This is definitely ice with something frozen in it, though. Oh, yeah! And... Same for this ice shard, it seems. So let's leave that for a second. We went to the small cabin, the door long since fallen from its hinges. A running table sits inside. A crudely drawn map of the area has been carved, uh, have been charted onto a scrap of paper. You attach it to your own map. Okay, so now we have a map at least. A large book sits on the table. It's well worn from the passage of time, but you can still read the words Captain's Log etched into the cover. You open the book, its frozen spine cracking for the first time in decades. Which I dream would you want to read? Let's see, let's start at the start then. 30th of May, 1847. Arrived at the floating ice, uh, yeah, sea ice amidst a particularly thick fog. A few channels could be seen leading into the ice, though sizable chunks float in our way, posing a hazard. I have ordered us to moor against the outer ice wall while the engineers make adjustments to better prepare the vessel. Okay, 1st of June. The vessel was pursued by a particularly aggressive narwhal. Some men had placed fish on the ice nearby in an effort to distract it. It appeared to work, though only for a time. It resurfaced and needed satiating repeatedly. 
If we can't find a more permanent solution to the beast, we'll have to make sure we keep enough fish on hand to placate it. Okay, so we're going to need to distract this thing or deal with it constantly. Very also, awesome uh, yeah. Also, uh, we haven't seen the photographer's ship come back out, so I think she is dead. Oh, like, we never see them move around. True. Well, that's what I'm going to go with until I'm proven wrong. Fifths. As I lay falling asleep, the, mo uh, the most almighty voice spoke unto me. It resounded from the thick eyes below, that the ones most powerful and ethereal. There was no mistaking this as a trick of the winds, nor a jest by the crew. It did not pause for response or acknowledgement, but whispered a cryptic prophecy. At first, I couldn't make sense of it. Three listeners shall hear the heart. <clears throat> Pardon? <clears throat> and that I should indulge these listeners. It spoke of boundless wealth from the stars, and of eyes opening onto the world. The rest of my sleep was feverish, as my mind was plagued with the sound of the voice. It spun in my head, echoing ever louder. In the morning, the boatswain and the navigator came to me separately, claiming to have heard a sound like a heartbeat, as the men were digging yesterday. They indicated a desire to explore the eastern and western reaches of the ice field. I shall indulge them. Okay. Oh dear. As I'm back, I just went to throw some things to the toaster and um... Light pierces through the ice, intensifying and concentrating into a glow in the center. A dark form takes shape against the lights. A distorted voice echoes from within. Don't disturb the ice. Who are you? Captain, the expedition, chart the ice field, appeared suddenly through the ice. Shadow of a captain. What happened here? It whispered, promised, stones from the stars. It knew, three were here, the heart beneath the ice. Yeah, the captain, the boatswain, and the thirds, the three navigator. listeners. Yeah, navigated. The voice grows louder. It commanded three listeners, three sacrifices, or three eyes. Yes. Is that a missing eye? I obeyed, but a fourth now sees forever futile. The shadow is silent for a time. Slumbering still, could leave. It sees you before it whispers. Do not risk breaking its senses through the ice, through the shadows. No hope. Okay, we need an ice breaking pick or an ice pick to get it out. Probably a bad idea to do that, but it's probably also the only way forwards, really. Let's see a cord here where we need one. Okay, there's some more places where we can dock. I'm thinking we head towards this one, since we're already facing that way. And of course, now the music starts playing up more. Hmm. Oh dear. There's something in there of value. Probably another... Actually, no, that's probably not a piece of the icebreaker, because we need it to get in there. Should probably of get this piece. We're we still gonna need the money for all the upgrades and all that. True. We should not get lazy with the fish. Yep. And I, I was about to say we should also try and find out what <laughs> the aberrated versions of them. Uh, Let's see. Fractaline ice fish. Crystals of ice pierce through its body, distorting scales, teeth, and fins. What the heck does fractaline mean? Uh, it, it's basically it, it's basically like uh, uh, you know how light refracts when running through such. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, let him do the Lord. <laughs> hey, Durvin, how are you doing today? Let's see, that's a decent amount. Let's not run these dry. Oh, the timing for their guest answer. <laughs> Uh, Let's see. Also, oh, hello for the first time in a while. Yeah, <laughs> and they're doing well. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, bloody heck, ice brood. Mm. <laughs> okay. It looks like we're going to need a lot of fish anyways, just to get these places busted open. And yeah, we're, yeah. we're back in dreads with the Pale Reach DLC. It's a twister spooling up. And, uh, yeah, we're in an ice field <laughs> together with a very, very monstrous narwhal. Uh, I, I don't really flow. think it's a narwhal. I think it's mistaken for what... Oh, bloody heck, it looks like it's combined with a seal and lion. It's not a sea lion. <laughs> wait. Okay, wait, yeah. I have a better comparison. It looks like a mix between Gumamon and Ikakumon, somehow. <laughs> okay. Or... Actually, yeah. I guess the other thing you could come to it almost looks like a Arctic version of that flying dragon from their never-ending story. <laughs> yeah, okay. See. We did see a picture when you were reading a book, uh, its head. Yeah. It, it is surprisingly furry. Yeah, which is one of the things that has me thinking that it's... Oh, hello. Research parts, okay. Uh, and hello, God of Pizza! And hello, Pizza. <laughs> Getting a bit busy today, it seems. Probably going to regret oh. this. But let's get at least one piece of lumber. Okay. Let's just sneak our way back. To the camp. Merry Christmas, the uh, pizza. Yeah, it seems it's officially twenty fifth. Me, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you as well, uh, pizza. <laughs> and from Dulu the first. Yes, indeed. Merry ho ho. <laughs> Merry ho ho. Okay. <laughs> oh no, are we gonna spend the night here? Yep. Uh, 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 Hello. There's something glowing in that. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not afraid, Captain. It's... I think even the golems are shivering with fear. <laughs> okay, that needs to be investigated. Oh, bloody, it was just that. I thought was the damn thing first. <laughs> okay, just gotta wait it out for a bit. I swear, the other D's and the damn crack in the eyes to make you extra nervous off the sea, the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, the cracking in the eyes was going to be here anyway, since... Uh, that? That's new glow over there. I think that's an aberration glow. Yeah, but... That is a different kind of glow, though. Armor! Armor! That's oh, not a good kind of glow stick. <laughs> okay. A bit more... Okay. Uh, let's see. Gods! <laughs> Yes, it, uh, also, if I'm slow, it's because I'm being evil in Age of Wonders 4 on the side. <laughs> like pizza. Uh, I myself have been alright, got a new game today, and I like it. It's uh, more of a chill uh, <clears throat> when you're not in the mood for action kind of game. Alright. Uh, speaking of games, there is one game that we have streamed uh, on sale at the moment for like five bucks uh, Iconoclast. Uh, if people, if for people who haven't seen a stream that, or maybe even for people who have seen a stream that, I would definitely recommend that.
Okay, don't tell me I was the only one who heard a heartbeat there. We heard one as well. And... Uh, uh, maybe I see maybe normal. Oh, bloody heck! These, these little twisters are just to keep us on our toes so we don't get too uh, uh, relaxed. Yeah, no, it's, um, it's a relaxing game, but it can also be rather tense as well. Yeah, seeing as, well, we're dodging bloody <laughs> monstrosities. Oh, another abstract. Astralized uh, fish? Uh, the heck is... Constellations of light dance through its body, stitching fin to flesh and spine to bone. Okay. What? Let's get one more. And leave it at that. Hmm. I think I'm going to put... I was going... Normally I would save aberrated fish and such. For selling, but seeing as it'll be quite a bit of a, it, yeah, it, it'll be a bit of a journey to get back to the start and to uh, the merchant, I think I will just use them for this here as well. Yeah, they have, they have a little sound when you pick them up, a little extra sound. Hear the difference? Yeah. Wait, they, that's not always been there. They'll usually hear when you fish them out. Yeah, that's a different sound when we fish them out. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. I'm good. Five bucks is too much. Man, it's like 350 rupees here. I uh, heard nothing. I need to tune it up to judge. Astral, what's with the fish thing to more Guild Wars 2 content? It's more space content. More like the Endurfin. Okay, no more fish will fit on the pile. And there they come. Yeah, they're like they're like some sort of mutated mixture of a narwhal and a polar bear. Let's just keep it satisfied, at least for a little like while. A, like a, yeah, it has a horn, but the rest of it is more like a polar bear's fur, a seal's body, but with claws instead of just floppy fins, and a long tail with spikes. It seemed like. Hmm. But it seemed like it was not only fur, it seemed like it actually had a spiked tail, spiked along the entire thing. The entire mm. tail, I mean. Yeah. Either way, we don't want it chewing on our hull. What the heck? Is this supposed to be a teenage cat? No, no. Teenage mm. Goomon or something? Yep. Thawed ice fish. Globs of flesh <laughs> drip from this fish. Its departure from the icy waters causing an instant irreversible reaction. Okay, so like uh, what gets what happens to a blob face when it gets out of the depths? Because those things don't look that ugly down in the depths. Uh, um, yeah, that totally does not look like a claw. Totally, completely normal looking. Mm. Another icebreaker part. I do wonder if we could actually find an intact icebreaker. But I think it'll probably be easier for the moment to, well, find the pieces. Let's see. You dock against a small platform of ice formed around a gigantic clawed hand. You are not the first to find this place. Remnants of a long abandoned camp lit up the ice. And yeah, there's another shard here. Anything among the equipment? You rummage through the small pile of equipment in the snow. Most items are stuck fast in the ice, but inside a small backpack you find an old journal. Which entry would you like to read? 2nd of June. Captain orders us to make camp on the ice in the center of the lagoon. After we saw those lights in the ice, everyone got, everyone's got treasure on their minds. Treasure hunting isn't exactly what the expedition was commissioned for, but given the captain's got the lion's share of whatever, uh, but given the captain's got, uh, yeah, given the captain gets the lion's share of whatever we find, it doesn't surprise me that he's willing to bend the rules a little. We'll start digging after the camp's done. Okay, two days later, 
Spent the day digging down in the ice. Shovels and... <clears throat> shovels and ice picks. Can't remember the last time I was this tired. We were only allowed two short breaks all day. Down in the pit, as I rested with my back against the ice, I started hearing something. It was different to the sounds of the picks. They were short and sharp. This was low. They rumbled from deeper below. In my first break, it was occasional. Only a few each minute. In my second break, it had quickened, like a heartbeat. And the last one, the day after. The captain overhe overheard me telling some others about this sound I heard in the pit. Before I knew it, I was in front of his desk. Sure I, uh, sure I was about to have my pay docked. To my great surprise, he seemed to know something of it already. He was keen on hearing it described, over and over. He wants me to help locate the source of it. When he pressed me on it further, I said that it did seem to be coming from the east. Tomorrow we are casting off to see if we can find it. Perhaps we'll get a bonus after this is done. Well, he has a bonus now. Only, I don't think he can spend it uh, in the ice. As it is his bonus. <laughs> yeah, let's see, Durvin. That thing was... Oh, it's looking. Yeah, at least it's not feasting on the ship yet, for sure. You were right there, Hillian. Little pause to cough has me worried. Yep. <clears throat> it's just a typical uh, after dinner <laughs> stuff. My you know, stomach just working on everything. An unnatural spire of ice stands above scraps of snow odor equipment. A dark shape twists within. Let's listen in. An anguished voice cries from deep within the ice. Help me, frozen so many years. Free me. Please, break the ice. Who are you? I was, I am, the boatswain. The expedition, the terror. Please, break the ice. What happened? The figure contorts through painful shapes. We saw lights dancing in, the, uh, dancing in ice. Dug deep, didn't know. I heard it. The heart beating under ice. The cracking, waking noises in the east. I went. The captain brought him here to find it. The hand in the night, shadow of claws. The darkness shrinks. I turned away, just a moment. The pain, the claws, my back, so cold, so dark, under the under ice. Please, break the ice. Okay, so we have one who says not to break the ice, and one who says to, well, to free them. Hmm. Now, is this just a formation, or, well... I'm pretty sure it's not just a, a totally coincidental ice formation. Oh, question is, what did deal with them? Like, are you supposed to free the ones that want you to free them? Or are you supposed to free them all? Or are you supposed to do the worst with them trying to trick you? Or something like that. Yeah. App. <laughs> Okay, been a while since I did a dumb move like oh, that. Oh, lost an ice fish overboard. Fish overboard! Wait, that doesn't sound too bad. Hello. Oh, was a two one now. Lizard fish. I... Hmm. Let's see, can I configure things around a bit to fit that? Or do I need to chuck one Wait. of these? You can, you can, you can. You just put put that one, the high one, in middle. Then, ah. now you can fit. There we go, let's see. One of the deepest apex, apex predators, these fish try to eat anything they encounter, including their own kinds. Now, so let's check the, the ice fish. One of the few vertebrates with transparent blood. Its glassy flesh blends in with the surrounding ice. Okay. Uh, um. Harbor! Harbor! Safe harbor! Wait. Yeah, there's a light over there. Okay. Is that going to remain? <laughs> 
Okay, that's going to remain there the entire time. Okay, we're going to need to find an ice pick to actually get out, uh, get, or get through the ice. Yeah, no, hmm. let's head to somewhere and sell the fish. Yeah, get that bit repaired as well. And maybe some upgrades. If uh, possible. There. Let me check. There are these restocked. Medium, okay. There. Uh... Okay. Yeah, don't think I... Well, one of you gets to go free then. Yeah, I was to say, you don't have room, <laughs> dear captain. Okay, it's, it's only one. Okay. Gotta keep an eye not to uh, overheat that. And... Yeah, once we have all three parts of the icebreaker, we will be able to get through this a lot faster. Okay, so make repairs, sell some of the fish, probably keep most of it with us though, since we need it to lure the narwhal into attacking something. I don't think it's a narwhal, I don't think we should, we should nickname it a narwhal eater. Yeah, we can just call it the beast instead, then. Yeah, that's probably the best description, the ice beast. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Two lumber needed. There, that's one done. Except for metal scraps. Okay. Fish markets. Let's see. Some 40 for that. Uh, 34 for that. Okay. And of course, these are going to be a lot less. Um, I think we can do without for the moment. Repair all. And uh, let's see. Research. Uh, yeah, we still have stuff to find here, <laughs> and we can also still research that. Let's put that part we found to that. Let's see, oh, 60, uh, 67.2 knots. Yeah, that, that's going to be better than what we have at the moment, I think. Uh, actually, uh, 6, six seven, six eight something. Actually, I think that might be a little... Hmm. I think if we swap this out with what we have at the moment, it's probably going to be a little less than what we have at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, though, let's pluck this thing up, uh, put that back in. Uh. Why not? Tell all the fish. Yeah, because we need to, f we need it to lure the nor, the, the, the ice beast over oh, right. to break things open. Okay. Plus, we're just, mm. yeah, we're just dropping these off here. One, two. I'm thinking we can find the other half in the western area. And yeah, let's undock. Let's not get our ship damaged again. Um, um, right back. I gotta check on my sandwiches. Okay. The, the, the captain. Hmm? Don't get eaten. No promises. Okay. Need to be careful with the boosts. Do not overdo it. And yeah, a little bit of a risk to go in while it's getting dark, but more than plenty of time. Okay. Catch a few more of these. Or one more of these. Now, is that thing going to be only active during the night? Or also during the day? Oh, okay. At least it's it's at least it's visible from really far away. 
and six. Hmm. So I'm guessing it's going to surface and dive at its own uh, accord. So it'll be invisible for a good amount of time. Again, there's these winds. I still don't get if that's supposed to be guiding towards something or not. Also, let's see. It's, uh, it looks like a hand. I beat the badass Vegeta cosplay boss, so I'm back. Okay. What game are you playing then, Marco? That was the heartbeat. Uh, hmm. And I heard you met uh, Barry. <laughs> Pizza is also <laughs> going, huh? <laughs> what? Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3, okay. Persona is a spin off from that. Hmm. I'm trying to get a bit of a lure out to see if I can get the, the beast to spawn of its own. I saw it, I saw it, its horn in the distance, so it's a good thing that the thing lights up like an actual glow stick. Yeah, it, it, those light things here are not red as they are in the other places, these are white. Yeah, they, they are always when they are not uh, aggressive or not alerted to your presence. Ooh. Oh, all right. Heartbeat the again. The... Now, is that thing going to a rave or is it just raving mad? <gasps> <laughs> now, did it dive there because it's getting too early for it? For it? it or did it dive because uh, we were yeah, Wait, out of reach? Let me see. check. <laughs> Hmm. Twister. Okay, so it's going to stay over there. Okay. Yep, this is new. Let's see. Goblin shark. Okay. Hmm. That might be worth a fair bit. The goblin of the sea. Let's see. Might as well grab some woods, because we need plenty of that. Okay. Just hope we don't get ambushed by anything. Though I don't think we've ever been ambushed whilst we were dredging up materials. I go down fully back, sit down in my chair with some sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one research part so we can finish up our research. Some more lumber to use. Yeah, let's see. Uh, the music is giving... <laughs> yeah, Marco... Uh, um, got a pizza. Ah, makes more sense now. Durban, no idea what game that is, but cool. It's, uh, it's, an old, it's a turn-based... Uh, it's a turn-based Japanese game yeah, that goes uh, pretty big into psychology and such, and mythology. Uh, Marco, this music gives me uh, Dark Souls boss vibes. I finally, I, I finally have wished every damn person I know and the service I am in a very Merry Christmas. Oh, and since I would not like to be rude, but hello there, Marco. How is one doing today? Merry Christmas also. <laughs> and Marcus reply, I'm sick, but okay. Okay. I'm guessing, yeah, we can't place that. Okay. Okay, so now we know what happens if we wait too long with a fish. It will just completely rot away. Hmm. I'm hoping they don't rot, or I'm don't, hoping they don't decay further whilst they're placed in here. Hmm. 
probably should have sold actually i probably should put that ring in storage because i doubt there's going to be a jeweler around here uh, let's see yeah i'm still sick but i'm on, on get it a little bit better hopefully so yeah i'm celebrating my christmas on stream with helium so i'm not completely alone this christmas but my family is away yeah, he's too sick to go along with them. Yeah, it says I can handle Steven's or five. It's not too stressful. It's not like it's not like an army of kids around, and this. And I'm mm. pretty sure I would not be able to handle that noise while being sick. And of course, Christmas dinner with the, what I've been having. No, thank you. Yeah. At least I, I can save a... up some stuff for you. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, bloody I, I, feel like, um, I feel like this game really makes me accidentally practice my Salem impressions. And there it is again. Actually, I think that tail looks more like it belongs in a shark or something. It, it, looked, it looked almost like a crook tail, except... Is it unlike a crop tail that you have the spikes up? It has um, sides. It, it's, it's. I almost want to say it's like, almost like a deep sea chimera in, in a weird way. Doc. There we go. And another claw. Now the makeshift cam constructed in the shadows of a frozen clawed hand. Someone was seeking these out. Yeah, I get the feeling uh, yeah, it's probably more than obvious now. There's something buried under all the ice here. And it would probably be a bad idea to wake it up. There are very few pieces that still remain. Whoever made camp here was poorly prepared. Inside a small bag you find a leather-bound journal. Century would you like? The 4th of July, or not July, June. The men spent the whole day digging. They passed up chunks of ice, say, you know, some as brilliant as crystal, others of a deepest blue more beautiful than sapphires. But none held the glow we had seen in the night. However, I did notice a dis I did note a disturbance in the ice to the west. It began as a periodic distant rumble. As the men dug deeper, the pulsing quickened, strengthening until I could see the ice shifting on the surface. I shall have to inform the captain. It may well be that narwhal creature we saw earlier, though it did, it this did seem much larger. As I write this, I can already feel my eyes closing. You will have to wait until the morning. Yeah, I, I get the feeling... Uh, hmm? Bigger? It is basically the same claw, so I think the one we're dealing with uh, might just be a juvenile. Oh no. Um, what were you to say before I interrupted you? Uh, not much, I think. Uh, let's see, pizza. Uh, well, he didn't know what I said during when you raided the Siren Ivy being around uh, the ones you love and having uh, fun out with whether that uh, be friends or family. Uh, will always be the best Christmas present in my own, uh, or for me at least. Yeah. Uh, it's better to spend Christmas with people you like than, well, with family you can't stomach. Or, yeah. well, in this case, a bit more in a different way than <laughs> normally meant. Yeah, this is a bit more literally in sense. Yeah, I've been having some coughs, but not me, but my main problem is my stomach. I do love my family. Yeah. Let's see. This morning, the captain appeared out of the fog, rowing alone. Apparently, the boat's rain remained at camp uh, at a camp in the east, waiting for nightfall. We were unsuccessful. Uh, they were unsuccessful in their search, but it does make sense that the lights would be more visible at night. Tomorrow, we are to journey together to the west, towards the shifting ice that I reported. And the last one. We are alone on a small island of ice. After hours of rowing through narrow channels, it rose through the uh, fog, a gargantuan monstrous claw reaching from the deep. Whatever creature it once belonged to must be long dead, 
as the uh, claw is frozen solid. They wanted to turn back immediately, but the captain insists we investigate. Smart man. He's on edge, his head turning this way and that, listening for the slightest sound. He's convinced something will happen after dark. As the last light from the uh, cold sun fades, I have the sense that it will be a long night. And then, well, whatever happens to seal them in the ice happens, I presume. Ice shard? Okay, rise up a bit early. You're not gonna talk to him? Yep. <laughs> I should, yeah. <laughs> Though I don't think you'll have much different to say than the other ones. And a natural spire of ice stands above scraps of snowed over equipment. A voice calls out. Trapped forever. This prison. Get me out. Break it somehow. Free me. Who are you? The navigator. Find safe passage. Chart the ice. It came from beyond. Break it somehow. Free me. The digging. The cracked ice. Like a web. Awoke. The ice heart. I told him. Whispers in the west, took the boat swing east, returned alone. The dark figure shudders, sending vibrations through the ice. Next day, rode here. The captain saw the claws, gripped my soul. He insisted, made camp, shadow of the beast. Waiting for the stars, in the night, I saw his shape. Suddenly, swallowed by the cold in the dark, he left me. Break it somehow. Free me. Okay, so. Uh -oh. Sounds like they weren't that uh, willing in whatever was happening with this. Yeah. Yep, oh, and that's the last haul. Yep. Okay, once we get this back to the merchants. There, we should be able to get through some places that we couldn't before. And oh. the goblin shark is rotting, so we should probably put it somewhere to actually make use of it, or just chuck whatever remains overboard. For being such a cold area, they do seem to rot very quickly. Yeah, I was to say, that's kind of weird. There's that spot in the middle there. So might as well put it over there. Uh, pardon? <laughs> Let's see. It but looks I like someone most... built a feeding station for this monster. Uh, yeah. yeah there. That was me, people, not the monster. Don't panic. Yeah, oh, that okay, was not so me, it... however. Okay, so it is active <laughs> during the day as well. Oh, speak of the bloody devil. Okay, so it we don't have to fill that up. We just need to put some fish on that, and it'll be busy for a bit. Wait, okay. hold on. Are you telling me you accidentally spawned the damn thing? Yep. Okay. All right, it's spawning time. <laughs> oh, uh, God. I really miss this game, but it is relaxing, but also tense. Eight? Yeah, and I almost blew out an engine. Yeah, I was in it. This is probably the clo one of the closest things we will get to actually playing almost proper horror. Yeah. It, at least it's a really horror game we can handle. To a degree. Mm. Okay, here's your last piece. That's everything. Let me just warm my hands up a little, then I'll get started. Okay. And just working through the night. Alright, that should do it. Icebreaker, equip the icebreaker. <laughs> uh, the front of your ship can now break through chunks of ice. Go ahead and test it out. We'll be watching from here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the safety of uh, not being on, the, the, on our ship when it would possibly go down. Let's see. 
Let's put some of these here. Purge upgrades, one more light spot. And might as well put one of these here. Okay. We'll have to keep track of th that we have enough money to buy the upgrades if when we get access to it. Because this is going to be expensive, but it's also going to require a lot of materials. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to get all of that before we are done with the DLC, but we'll just have to see about that. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. Just let me know if you want to temporarily remove that icebreaker. I can swap it out at any of my pontoons. Okay. I'm guessing it's going to slow us down a bit. Because it is quite they are typically quite heavy. Yeah, and I'm afraid we're probably gonna need an extra hull upgrade before we finish the DLC. We'll have to see, yeah. I've been looking through the schematics we found before, and there are plans here for another device too. They're for an ice shaper. It's different you know, to your ice breaker, by the way. It's for cutting you know, chunks of ice. If you find the missing device, I'll be able to use the machine to harvest ice blocks for refrigeration. Mm. The blocks of ice can be packed into your cargo to slow fish spoilage. Pretty handy, right? Mm. That would be really good you know, for just the base game as well. Yeah, do I would not be surprised. That would actually probably require us to make the boat bigger. <laughs> yeah, depending on how big those chunks are. Okay. <clears throat> but now we should be able to just safely push through here. Yep. More than just push, we're just smashing straight through. Like, I know it's called an icebreaker, but I didn't think they'd take it that literal with it. But it, it, that's what it does. Yeah, you never seen an icebreaker in action? True, but typically it's more on the bigger ships where it's supposed to crack and push away the ice. Uh, we have no need for that at the moment. And what is... Oh, hello. Okay. One ice axe. Cracked at the handle. The teeth are coated in frozen blood. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's an aberration spot. Let's see. The question now is though, who do we use this one on? The captain, since he's closest, or any of the other ones? I'm actually thinking we should save the captain for last. Probably, do I do feel like we should probably... ...look for some materials and get some more money. Yeah. Now, how much do we actually have at the... 1,200? Okay. Shouldn't be too much work to get 1,500. Heartbeat again. Let's see. Oh. Wait, turn around. Oh, here's the claw. Yeah, that's the claw. Okay. Get our way through here. There's more than one thing here and there's something over there as well okay it's one of these rocks translucent spire of ice stretches down into the darkness a pulsing glow rises from the deep illuminating four round sockets okay those don't look like fish Hmm. Yeah, what the heck are those? And what is this here? Is this going to be more like the Blackstone Spires? Yeah, it's a Blackstone Spire. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface. Yeah, it does not respond because it's not active. I forget if these... I forget if it's a certain sanity level or a certain time that they start actually activating, and... Uh, time. I think it, if I'm right, it's time. Okay, that's the pontoon over there. Okay, let's head on over to the claw. 
after we fish this up. Okay, because it is getting late. Okay, another one of these. Hmm. Taking a bit of a risk here, since it's going to be dark by the time we're done. Not entirely dark, but still. Oh, they're one use each, aren't they? Probably. So they are damaged. It's just... That's ice fish. And no need for that. I should check... I should take a look at... What our power, yeah, what the other powers are again, since we haven't used, you know, since again it has been new a while since we played this game. Okay. You at least seem to be the smartest of the three. So. Silence it. You must shatter. You strike hard against the center of the shard, where the shadowy shape appears darkest. A deep crack chases upwards, cleaving away fragments that fall and shatter. Okay, that must be at the lights. The structure peels open, splitting through its core. A glistening stone... Oh, hello! That's a frozen heart. A brilliant crystal of pure ice. Gossamer filaments of radiant light drift from within. A glistening stone lies cradled by broken shapes. Wispy threads of starlight trailing with it and from it. Okay. You take the stone and leave. Okay, I'm guessing we need those... Well, to prevent whatever it is that we are <laughs> chipping away at from actually waking up and such. Okay, it's a good thing that we went this way then. Yeah, I, went, I just realized. We need four of them. Yep. The captain did say that there was a fourth. Or that there became a fourth or something. For now, let's put that in. Let me do a quick little check. Hello. Char. Okay. These hardy fish thrive in deep lakes and cold oceans. But their appearance can vary. They commonly exhibit a brilliant red body. Let's get a few more. Probably one aberration. Plus, I think some of our ice fish are probably going to rot away before we can make use of them. Um, there. Hm, not a single aberration from this, huh? Okay. And it's still early. It's a good thing that we have so much fishing boost, huh? Yeah, no, let's get away from here, sell it, we get some money. Yeah. Okay, maybe we can use a few to distract the narwhal for a bit. Let's see, any of these? Yeah, rotting. Don't think we'll make it with those. So... Yeah. One, two, three... Four and five. Uh, that one as well, since it's I'm very likely to lose it in a second. <laughs> really audible sniff. And yeah, that that is way more like a shark's fin, even if it is missing the lower uh Division, whatever you would call that. It's, it's, it only points upwards, not downwards as well, like would be with 
Mm. Yeah, it's like, like a hybrid between a fish and a shark tail. Mm. I mean, I'm a shark and a, a frog tail in a way. Like it's paddle like, but still fish like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't think I can fit another one. I actually can. Not that there's space for anymore. Okay. That thing's going to be distracted for a bit. So let's head back. It probably would be better to actually feed it once we arrive here. But, oh well. Let me take check the map. Okay, there's one more passageway there. I'm guessing we'll probably uh, want to... We'll probably need to bring fish over to break that open. Um, also getting late, but it's... Yeah. We can we can get through this place a lot faster now. So yeah, I want to avoid the night time as much as possible. But we have to say I was I was expecting more different enemies to pop up so far, but they might just be they might just be in the lower half of the pale reach. Yeah, the bad map would might come. <laughs> okay, sell all for 100 and something. And yeah, let's put that in storage there as well. We don't want to sell that. Couldn't even if we wanted to, I believe. Okay. Storage. Actually, there's no need for that. We can put it into these right away. It's one, two rod spaces, and one, two, and only one more needed. Nice. Mm. Okay. And one metal. We'll still need more for here. Let's see, we need three refined metal and four cloths. How much cloth do we have in storage? We have four in storage, okay. And one more refined metal than we need. <laughs> okay, now we rest. Oh, so nice. There. Okay. It's probably a hidden timer going on somewhere that dictate. Yep. Yeah, that calculates how long the beast is satiated for a while. But I'm presuming it's uh, gotten bored of its food already. Still, let's catch more, just in case we need it. Okay, leave that alone. And even if we don't need it to break another bit open, because our icebreaker can't handle it, we'll still be able to use it to, well, distract it. Yeah, distract it. I gotta say, there is something satisfying about just smashing through the ice. <laughs> there we go. Leave it alone once it reaches low. And, okay, it doesn't... Okay, it looks like we don't actually need to lure it over to get it to break open. But we do need the icebreaker to get through here. Okay, there's a docking spot. Okay. That's also an eagle. And hello. Oh, hello, you must be number four then. Sudden locus. 
spire of glassy ice stands in the shadow of the cliffs. Across the water, a monstrous visage peers from an icy tomb. A sound of anger lashes from within. Murderer, betray your men. Left us here. Your sleepless gods. The voice abates. Wait. Your shadow. It speaks. Another shape. Please, save us all. Find the axe. Undo this. The betrayer. Who are you? First officer. Safety of the crew. Failed them. Should have cursed place. Find the axe. Undo this. The betrayer. What happened? The men saw lights. Sudden cliffs at night. Captain and I would look into. We rode alone. He was restless. Sleepless. We passed. Walls of ice. Finally arrived. The great horn into view. The words drift in, some carried away on the wind. Pulled ashore, quickly, the size of it, the light. Somehow he knew. Eyes were wild, he was whispering, answering. The eyes are moving. He said it shows him, alone. Avert my eyes, could not help, look upon. We fought, cold hands, an iron grip. Breathless. Find the axe. Undo this. The betrayer. What is that thing in the ice? The shape of the ice shrinks into itself. Uh, in the ice shrinks into itself. I know not. The eyes open, watching. Shadow of shadow. Through the ice. Yet more. Close still. It cannot arise. Break the ice. Call the heart. Find the axe. Undo this. Betrayer. Must not fully awaken. The eyes close them. Strike the heart. Strike hard against the shatter. Probably best that we get rid of this one before we, uh, b before this one would be the last, huh? Because I don't think we want to be anywhere near this thing once we're done with all of them. Yeah, oh, holy. Structure peels open, shining stone. And let's try and get a look on it again. It, it's a bit hard, but the thing that is actually casting that yellow beacon into the sky is its horn. This is a much, much bigger version of what's running around here. Yeah. It's red. I guess it's either young or a servant. Maybe. Or perhaps even worse, infant. Hmm. Let's see, we have one more axe. I believe the, I believe there was a golden spot over in the east. Let's see, this is sealed off. Though the map shows that it would be open. Uh, it says slur you should. Uh, you read ah, out there we go. Here? Uh, let's see, Marco. Uh, that, uh, that tree thing with eyes reminds me of the birds that watch me out of my window. Um, um, okay. Yeah, I was to say, what kind of bird do you have? A Sleeper shark. Gliding through the cold, dark depths, this shark is an excellent stealth predator. Individuals can live in excess of 400 years of age. Okay. That should sell for a good amount. For yeah, now, though, a trophy one as uh, well. Do we risk spending the night next to this thing, or do we bail northward as fast as possible? Bail and sell the fish! And that's a wolf fish. Well, not predatory towards other fish, they use their middle teeth to crush mollusks and crustaceans. Okay. Um, one more, since this is an aeration spot. Okay, no more. Unless... Hail! 
Don't get greedy. There. Hinged wolfish. These interlocks through flesh to create a brutish trap. Countless jets will meet their doom in the deep. Okay, now we get the fuck out. Uh, yeah, let's keep the turbo thing red just in case. Okay, I'll need to switch away from the lights. And then again, we have the other. The, the haunt. The, just as I speak their freaking name, they show up. Yeah, the haunted lights didn't. I, we didn't see them. <laughs> we until just then we didn't see too many of them. That's the feeding spots. Okay, there's another one. And sell. Mm. Was that light there before? I think that's new. Okay. Wait, 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 what are you doing? Uh, we can't, we can't sell here. This is just oh. a space. So if we do want to sell, we'll need to keep going a little bit more. Damn it, I thought we were there. Though I actually get a bit of a feeling that this passage is mostly safe. Aberration lights, but we're already full. Yeah, I, I I think this area is, except for those, generally safe. Okay. He chased on here before. Fish markets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five hundreds. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that can afford us a bit more. Okay. Ooh, money. <laughs> Um, explosives, lights, nets. It's a, it's a good thing that we got most of the stuff that we already got beforehand. Uh, floating dock. Mm. Yeah, 80 for this. Then, okay, 200. So we need 1700 to get the next upgrade. Wait, along with all of the bands? materials. Hmm? Uh, we need one metal and one plank. Oh, damn it. I thought, I thought we had um, a plank here. Actually, before we move on, do I have spare lights? Uh, there. It's just a little bit extra. But still. Okay. Now, let's rest. Oh, I'm and I missed you. <laughs> and we can actually go along the outer side here, towards that rock. The one that wants the frozen hearts. Mm. Let's put the other one in. Then we go to the other side. Free the... Uh, with the free the navigator. Oop. Okay. Yeah, I get the feeling this is going to be needed to suppress whatever the, the big beast is. Oh, I'm waking it. Hmm. What the heck? Oh, right. I never, I forgot. I never closed the window and put away my blanket. I want to get rid my blanket again. Mm -hmm. This is a bit too immersive in the shill. Is it beelining for us? Yes, it is. Okay, so whenever it spawns, it will know where we are. Yeah, are you going to? Okay, yeah, we just need to get we yeah, we just need to get near the dock for it to get lost. Let's do a quick check in with the captain. Do you have anything to say? The boat's rain gone. Fearful boy, the skies. Remain consequences inherited. 
Okay, so he will react to us releasing the others. No comment on the first officer, though. Hmm. Now, what Let's if I... What, what if I... You know, we can check that in as... What is with the music? I'll check that on the way back. For now, I'm guessing this is the last of the axis. No, it's this is the device. The ice shaper. We want that. Okay, simple two by two. Use the cut and shape chunks of ice for using refrigeration. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking at the moment, what if we free all but the captain? Will that be enough to keep it locked up? Maybe? Hmm. <clears throat> mm, we need one wood. Actually, we need more than one wood. So let's just grab what we can. One, uh, the one is just well, yeah, all we get. Now we should be able to buy some other parts. I think. Now let's see, Marco. Nope, that's new. Music be like, oh, you feeling calm? Starts playing dramatic music. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's the last axe. Okay. Gotten quite dark in the meantime. That slipped away from me. Slipped away from me as well, like... It is so bright during the daytime, but once it's dark? Oh yeah. boy! Okay. This sun, this cold sun, warmth long forgotten. No more. Break me. Strike hearts. Yeah. There they go. And yeah, that's the horn that's making that's making that glow. Okay. Split to its core. There. And now we rest. And hello, yep. Pyro! <laughs> hello to Pyro, let's see. Hey, yo, is that the dude? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, we're playing uh, some more Dredge, the Pale Reach DLC to be exact, where, well, we're in a very icy region and we are trying to either suppress or free a very, very, very big beastie. Because, well, that's one of its claws. Though, to be honest, if that's one of its claws and the other one is all the way over there, it's either long as all fuck, or there's multiple hidden here. God, that would be terrifying. But it could also be an oversight from the developers. Hmm. For now, though, we have broken three of the four listeners' prisons. With only the captains remaining. Oh, there's the, the narwhal or the ice beasts. The smaller version, which is probably not too pleased with us cracking the ice. Luckily, we can outspeed it quite a bit. Okay, now let's see if the captain is. Uh, very nice, it looks super cool. Yeah, it, it looks absolutely freezing, it's that cool. <laughs> let's see. The navigator, my eyes for the shadow, closing. You risk annihilation. Annihilation. Wait, don't break, don't break. Leave Not and yet. post. Okay, hit him again. Return. Officer, unworthy. Try to take. Turn the men. My expedition, my discovery, is failure. Okay, and now we'll find out if this was the right thing to do. Do not risk breaking its senses through the ice, through the shadows. No hope. It, now, it could be that 
all of the other three are lying and that break doing this is a very bad idea or it could be that the captain is the one lying making this a good idea all the same though there's only one way forwards you strike hard against the center of the shard where the shadowy shape appears darkest a deep crack chases upwards cleaving away fragments and fallen shatter And that's all four eyes closed. And it's... Oh, hello. Did we manage to kill it, actually? Structure peels open, split to its core. Glistening stone, less cradles. Okay, let's grab that. Now, before anything else... For one, the music is... Okay, the music died for a bit there. I don't yeah, think I the smaller one is going to be happy with us killing its parents, ancestor, whatever. Yeah, and also, I'm afraid we are not, uh, we are not going to finish this game this stream. Yeah, that would be real short. In less than two hours, actually. We, we actually started an hour early just because we expected this, this would take a bit going on. Okay. Now, what is going to happen once we put all of these in? Is it, or is it just going to give us extra equipment? Oop. Under the ice. Finish the main quest? What? What? Radiant Thrall Nets. Strands blend through hues of the aurora. Gle a gleaming trap of light in the dark. Menacing spikes of ice adorn a basalt frame. Okay, I think that's perhaps the first bit of radiant equipment we found, not yeah. eldritch stuff. Uh, I, I thought this thing was going to be completely optional. Hmm. Something did drop by the, the horn. Like, yeah. Th this can't be it. Did we accidentally rush it? Yeah, we probably managed to... This was probably a lot easier because we already had an endgame save file. So it, otherwise it would have been a lot harder, I presume. Hmm. Now let's, let's go find out whatever it was that fell away here. I'm going to guess that it's a fragment of the horn. And yeah, the ice is completely clouded. Let's see, what, what is that? Some sort of anchor or harpoon? Yeah, I'm curious. Nope. Auris anchor. A fragment of a golden splintered horn. This cordant buzzing fills the air, surrounding air. It yearns for the deep. Cast this overboard to create a reusable two way portal to Blackstone Isle. Okay. Hey. Hmm. I'm guessing that there's... Is there supposed to be side quests to this DLC as well then? Because that was supposedly all of the main quests. Yeah, we know there are more quests around here. Hmm. Unless... Hey, they are. Uh, around. Hey, hey. Audible sniff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it noticed us. Okay, I think it's. I think it can quote unquote smell us where anywhere we are. And I I wouldn't call that speed run, Marco. But still. Uh, anything else around here? Just the captain's log. Hmm. I guess maybe the DLC also added some other things, perhaps. Let's see, messages. Yeah, we have all of those. The journals. Nine of nine. Two notes that we haven't found, and one message here that we're missing. 
Encyclopedia. It's ice. Astral ice fish. Yeah, we don't found all of them. Let's see, there's some sort of squid. Let's see. Yeah, that's an aberrated squid. Aberrated Ooh, goblin indeed. shark. Aberrated of that. Wait, that wait, pepper? look at it. Look at that. Lakes. Hmm? Yep. <laughs> oh. And fins that look like arms. A deep one? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, there is one normal one here. Two, three normal ones here. Let's see. Trawling, one by rod, fishing. That's supposed to be around here during the day and night. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Let's put that thing on. Uh, yeah, we need to be somewhere else, I believe. Um... We don't have the space for in storage to, to put that away. Hmm. Let me just pick up two of these. There. Okay. Now let let's also hand yeah, let's also hand this thing over and then drop this thing out next to uh, <clears throat> The next to the pontoon, so it's, there's a quick and easy way to get back and forth. It, this can't be uh. it. Like, I'm not gonna be surprised if we, we accidentally rushed it. But still. There we go, put that thing out. You, you, you would expect us to have seen the other side quest. I know. Hmm. Now, let's do a loop of this place to see if there's anything of note on the outsides. And maybe we can go and maybe we can stick around oops, Stargazer. We, maybe we can stick around by that uh, Blackstone Spire to see when it activates and what it has to show. Okay, net Stargazer. Eyes turned upwards. It lies in ambush, waiting, uh, looking to the sky for falling foods. Uh, yeah, oh, we, right, we, the net. we found a few. We found a few of those in. Uh, <clears throat> we found a few of those in Dave the Diver. Get rid of that ugly thing. Um. Hmm. All oh, right. We also need to hand over the ice shaper. Mm. There. You found it! How on earth did you actually locate that stuff down there in the deep? Anyway, let me slot this blade in here and... Yeah, that seems right. I think it's ready to start cutting. Blocks of ice coming right up. Oop. Huh. It works pretty well. Here, these are now ours. Okay, just one by two. They have a durability, of course. From now on, I'll be able to stock some of these ice blocks on my pontoon. Thanks, partner. Okay. Let's see. Extends the shelf life of fish and other ice blocks. More ice is more effective, up to a point. Okay, and thaws in about one day. Okay. Uh, let's put these back. Uh, we have okay. that one plank we were missing? Yeah. Though we still need one more metal to actually get access to this node. I don't think I've seen any nodes for metal around here. Maybe we'll find them around. For now, yeah, maybe. let's just stroll around the area. Mm. I, mm, what is this? So far, I do like this here. See, it is creepy. There's Abyssal. a creepy stone and all. But mm. I expect there to be more. Yeah. No. Before I forget... Here we go. And... Yeah, now we can easily travel back and forth 
between the center and here, if need be. Now, I'm, I'm going to guess they're going to put at least one more DLC in any of these areas, though they have space for three and, well, honestly, even more than that. But, yeah, yeah we, st we still have over an hour of time. So, let's look around. Hmm. Yep. Two hours of time for a $10 DLC, or 10 euro, 10 buck, whatever you, know, you want to use. DLC does seem rather short. But, again, we we came at this at endgame. Yeah. Alright. Almost night time. I get the feeling there's not going to be much on the outskirts. Hmm. So, yeah, let's just let's just loaf around at the stone here. Hopefully, yeah, I, not I, get sunk along as we try to get back. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's due to a fast speed so when upgraded, was we able to accidentally speed through it. But still. Apparently there's a power missing. No, I, I believe there's... Hmm. I think... Yeah. There was another small DLC for like... I forget how much. But I think that gave access to... Some very small things. But I don't think it gave access to a power. So maybe we are missing something. And that, that new, that's a new power added by the DLC. I'll do a quick look on my phone as I just go back and forth here, catching fish, <laughs> waiting for this thing to start glowing. It, it. Okay, apparently it, the light can just randomly turn on as well. I'm guessing that's supposed to say, basically say, uh, as you're getting more and more unnerved in the dark, you start flailing around at something. Cantorous Seer? Craterous Seer? Uh, oh, yeah, Craterous. Oh, holy! A bright eye spins inside an impacted socket. An answer from above. So basically a fish that got punched in the eye hard. What? The answer from above? Oh, he's there up to the stars too d uh, um. Basically, he stared into the abyss, and the abyss punched back. <laughs> you starting to get a bit loopy. Yeah, this is where you want the lights on. Okay, push that down a bit. Not enough to. Oh, there we go. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. Darkness, the deep. Then sparks of light as tooth and spine meet horn and nail. Two primeval forces clash at the bottom of the world. After an age, a victor triumphs, sundering the other into impossibly large remnants that descend to the surface, slowly to be claimed by the sky. But the broken body holds power still. Threads of crimson essence reach out through the water, stretching to unite the creature once more. Okay, so that's why that's why its parts are so far apart. It's literally broken. As the remains Ooh. break the surface, ice begins to form. Okay, that it's not that it's lanky as all fuck. It is literally broken up into multiple shards. Okay. Now, let's head back to the pontoon. Okay, for, for a moment I thought the snow was... starting to chase us or something. Okay, calm yourself somewhat, Fisher. Okay, then the question is... The thing that's chasing us, is it chasing us to prevent us from uh, trying to revive it, or...? Yeah, my, my guess is that it's... It, 
If left alone long enough, it would have revived eventually. Right. Now, okay, that's quite a bit of fish. Monkey. Four hundred and seven. Okay, yeah, the trolling is still really good for money. Hmm. Okay, the, the noises that that portal are making are a bit odd, but not actually really unnerving. Okay, let's do... let's look around a little bit more. But I don't think we're going to find much more. Hmm. In a, in a way that... Hmm. In a way this is a bit disappointing, I guess. A colossal squid. From the black depth, it's catch the colossal squid. Just, okay, that is big, yeah. That's the biggest fish so far, I'm pretty sure. With hooked arms and tentacles, these massive squid grapple with the giants of the deep. Would it have been one of those that battled the giant beasts? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, from the silhouettes, I thought these were goblin sharks. Uh, Wait. They are. Yep. What if the thing we see at the ending of the main uh, uh, game is the one that did it? Uh, don't think so. Hmm. But maybe. That's that's the thing with this game. It doesn't really do straight answers, huh? Yeah, for the good or the bad reasons. Because, yeah, that's that's half the appeal of uh, Eldritch uh, myth and such. Yeah. Because you're not. If it was to give, it, if it was to give straight answers, so there's another black spire. It would be, it would not be half as terrifying. Yeah, this is kind of the deal with pyramids. You, can, you you're not mm. supposed. Again, it kind of what as I said. The tyrannids, like, if you were to give them their own storybooks, you'd make them out of characters out of that, you would start getting straight answers the close to it. Which would kind of take away the order of them. Yeah. Okay. Let's dredge up some of this metal. Because we need it for the upgrades. Actually, uh, actually, I was the, uh, the Thunder Psychers, aka Kitten. Yeah. He, he also said that uh, they just should have gone with Jean Steel Colts for more banter. <laughs> okay. And so what I was, is I'm this? not alone with that. Uh, sorry, what? Uh, 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 fucking crap. Oh, for love of Gary! Screw you, Gary! Okay, should have expected to find at least one of those things here. Yeah, bloody heck. I thought it was one of the, these that you would hide us. Okay, well, I guess we get to dance back and forth again. And there's no alien lights around this time. So we can keep our light on. Hey, fishy, 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 fishy. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> hmm. I think you want to read the chat. Let's see. Gary, you named him? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Did I have made up some of them. Gary, Harold, Greg. Oh, I guess they, they'd be, I should probably give this one a new name as well then. Barry? Um. <laughs> Carrie? I guess Carrie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Frostbirth. Yeah, to be honest, once you figure out some things with this game, it becomes a whole lot less scary. Like, knowing that those things literally play red light, green light with you, technically. Only you're the one controlling the lights, and, well, they stay still if you keep it off. Um, and other things are more. Other things only appear when you're at certain insanity levels, I believe. 
or terror yeah. levels. I forgot what specifically it was called. Okay. As we continue to just twerk with our boats <laughs> in front of this thing. <laughs> Okay, keep the eyes at bay. Oh, God. Okay, at least those aren't coming for us. When are you I going to I activate? I guess I know what we could call this episode. <laughs> the twerk boat? Uh, no. Nightmare on Christmas. <laughs> Dredgemare oh. on Christmas. Uh, wait, what? Dredgemare on Christmas. Uh, yeah. Oh, Cosmic Dread on Christmas. Okay, seriously, when is this thing going to activate? Or did I miss it? Well, we all get the new fish. True. Yep, there it goes. I was about to give up. Okay. A sudden chill, yeah. Intruders. They invade on tiny wooden vessels, shouting and smashing. They cut and slice with angled metal, breaking across the s a skin of ice. Their meager hearts beat with avarice and pride, desires trivially twisted into new shapes. Shapes that might mend and restore. Shapes to replace what was lost, down in the dark. Okay, yeah, so this thing was fully aware throughout who knows how many millennia or eons, even. Mm. Oh, God. And the sun starts to rise. Um. Yeah. The winds are because we're near this thing again. More okay. for the herd. Uh... Yeah, that was a deep sea raver. Yeah, that was a one of those. Yeah, that was one of those twisters forming behind us. But for some reason, they stay stationary here. In the in the rest of the game, they would well get launched. As would probably be the best word for it. Like they wouldn't stay stationary. Okay, the ice is molten or melted away. Hmm. Nah. Okay. Let's sail and sell the fish. Yeah. Let's check this lost side. Not expecting to find anything more around here. Yeah, I feel like they Just to be we were expected you to explore around the island before sailing into the island. Uh, Okay, thank you, sperm whale. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, seems we have at least one ally in these waters. I wish we got over shit cracking a kafool or something like that, and then comes the damn whale. <laughs> and hello, one. Oh, well. Hello, hooded figure. You approach a hooded figure. They seem to be frozen to the spot. Pale ropes frosted over by a heavy rhyme. Fisherman, the ice. You hear their jaws snap shut against... Uh, yeah, their jaws snap shut again in the cold. The ice takes form. The hooded figure withdraws a scroll from their robes and unfurls it to reveal a drawing of a corrupted fish. An aberrated ice fish. Okay. So they want one of the one of the aberrated ice fish. Hmm. I'm 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 pretty sure those can't starve anymore. Or at least not before you find them. I'm not too interested in trying to hunt around for a specific aberrated fish. Hmm. This is a new track, I believe. No, we had it earlier before. 
Ja, då får vi... Men vi finns det inte i back then först så du vånder om det var sirens eller någonting. Okej, så jag tror att det är kanske den enda sidekvästen. Hmm. A bit disappointing, but this was still nice while it lasted. Oh yeah. They're gonna suspect that uh, the best way to uh, enjoy those these DLCs is uh, to get the DLCs before you uh, actually start the game in a way. Yeah, to get here early on instead of late. Actually, since this is. Uh, yeah, uh, if I remember the, the order correctly, you're typically guided to the Gale Cliffs first, then the Stellar Basin, uh, Twisted Strand, and Lost Devil's Spine. And so technically you could take this place on as your second or third area. And yeah, that, yeah. that ice would be really useful for preserving fish when you can't easily get back to a pontoon. Okay, 13 fish. Okay, these are neither of the, uh, the of the corrupted fish they wanted, and 212 for this thing, okay. And yeah, we have more than enough. Actually, hmm. I'm thinking maybe we can see, uh, try and see if we can find the uh, fish that the, the, that the hooded figure wants. Yeah. Maybe it's one of those two. He... Oh wait, no, it wasn't one of those two, was yeah. it? Yeah, but maybe he will want any of those for the second thing. Uh, let's see, shipyard, repair all. We got yeah. way more money from that than it cost us for the repairs. Yeah, let's sell the other fish and buy some new eyes. It's there, metal. Purchase. Yeah, one extra engine space. Okay, and now we can start filling this thing in. So, one metal, two metal, three metal, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we only need more metal, which we already have two. Okay. And four lumber. Okay. And oh, right, I forgot that we had these fish as well. I told you, let's sell those as well. <laughs> but he didn't listen. There, 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 and there. Okay. There's no need to pet me for that, Captain. <laughs> or oh wait, you mean mm. that, 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 that man? Okay. <laughs> I thought you were uh, trying to it's... pet me. In oh, a comforting get, manner. We can get large head. ice blocks as well. Let's actually get two of these. And all oh right, we also have a bit of research. Put one more in there. Okay, now we can get the engine stock uh, stack. Now let's do a quick check on that. Actually, if we do this, install that sideways, then we can swap this out for the better engine here. Let's see, 600. That would still allow us to buy the upgrade if we want. And yeah, we, we actually can't buy the other, <clears throat> the other resources. So, let's send that to storage. And then we get a better engine. Okay, there we go. And yeah, now we're faster than before again. Yeah, and we have room for one more damn engine. <laughs> a tiny <laughs> one, but still. Yeah, we would need to get up. Uh, we uh, we'd need to hit another upgrade to have that converted into engine space. Oh, but still, right. just having just having it is a good thing already. Uh, oh yeah, I hope there will be more DLCs. No, I do hope uh, 
that they uh, that that they be, yeah, a bit be longer. More yeah, a bit more substantial. Yeah. And there. So it probably would be a good do good if we were to do it like uh, next time we return to this is maybe there's two DLCs that have been released. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 55. Coastal. Coastal and mangrove. Is there another of that sort? Yeah. Remove you. And put you in place there. Okay, and then it's another day again. Okay. Uh, yeah, let, I'd, I'd say we go for a little bit longer to see if we can get, if we can feed, if we can feed the hooded figure. They'll probably want more, you know, they'll probably want aberration fish from, another, from the other types as well. But, yeah, we, we can just give this a look at what happens. Probably not too much, but this is an indie game, so we shouldn't have we shouldn't have too high expectations to begin with. Yeah. And it's not too bad for 10 euro. True. Could have been much, much worse. <laughs> yeah, and do remember, this <laughs> DC was released at the same year the game was released. Yeah, this was only recent, I believe. Uh, actually, when did the game... The game... This game was released mm. this year as well. All right. You miss. So they oh, did. Ha, this game, this this it was had probably been in development for uh, f just a few months. Actually, uh, no, so. no. I, this game released three uh, months apart from Dave the Diver, I believe, and that released last year, I think. So yeah, the game is oh is around a year old now, I believe, or longer. Wait, what? Uh, are we, let me. Are we, I believe it should be streamed it this year. Or were we just late to the party? Or, or maybe I misread the year or something. Let me do a quick look. Steam. Uh, could well have been late to the party. Uh, dredge. Okay. And oh, right, I, wrong. The game, uh, the DLC is six euros, not ten. Though it might be discounted at the moment. Uh, let's see. Release date. Uh, okay, March 30th, 2023. Okay, so I'm, I, I guess I was wrong about Dave the Diver's uh, <laughs> release date then. Or, yeah, Dave the Diver was a bit of a... Uh, they released and went quiet, then it suddenly got boomed up uh, things to YouTube. Actually, no, it, it also released this year. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right, so, okay, yes, still, uh, I stand fully corrected then. I'm a um, Let's see, we have two more spots for ice fish. So let's see if we can get lucky. Hmm. I guess this would be a good reason to go get those aberration fishing lines and not lucky it seems. Hmm. Uh, that, that, that was the toothfish who went overboard. Okay, that, that was my mistake. Oh well, we at least got it added to the encyclopedia. And yeah, I, I yeah, we'll just go look for that aberration fish, and we'll see how the rest goes. We got another one of those. Sell all of these and get that <laughs> get that dent repaired. Yeah, you missed one fish. Up there. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the the aberrated ones I'm keeping in my store in my net for the moment. For one, because it I believe it keeps me fresh. Though it is unlikely that the hooded figure will ask for another version of a aberrated ice fish but still there's a chance 
So, as long as there is a chance, I'm going to take it. Be buried here instantly. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. But that thing is terrifying. I say we give the game some 15 more minutes, and if nothing really of interest happens further, we'll probably call it there then. Wrong aberration. Yep, de depleted. Okay, there's a few more spots this way. I believe it is actually bad. If we recall correctly, if we deplete a spot, it'll actually take longer to refill. Yeah. To be very it, careful. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it is also possible, or actually, with this atrophy, uh, to deter, reap the corpse of any fish in your sights, long range. I think this can permanently deplete a fishing spot. And then we have banish here for getting rid of, um, <clears throat> or just can't, protecting us from uh, beasties for a bit. The teleport with manifest. But what is this? Yeah. Or is that just a placeholder, perhaps? Is the placeholder over here? Oh, missing something. Hmm. More ice fish. A wrong aberration again. It's uh, pizza BRB. Okay. Actually, let's just keep fishing until yeah, until that. Oh well. Hmm. I I'm guessing this might in part be why I don't really like Eldritch stuff because I typically prefer if things do get answered. Also, uh, cabin encyclopedia. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit in the middle. Like when it comes to Eldritch stuff, I want some answers, but I don't want the biggest answer of them all. Yeah. Uh, actually, can we? Do we have fish over here? We have crab or crabs. I mean, uh, are there? Yeah, there are pale reach crabs. Okay. Uh, with yeah, two new ones. I'm guessing it's a spider crab. Uh, okay, I guess we'll have to throw out a few of those. Uh, catch an imp. Okay, <laughs> this is a lot of space for only five notes there. Figure hmm. in white, okay? Let me think of the king in yellow for some reason. <laughs> okay, that was. <laughs> okay, I thought there was smoke. Coming from somewhere, but no, that was one of the whirlwinds fo uh, forming behind. Okay. I the damn thing jump out, 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 out of the water onto the ship. Okay, there. Net. Not the right fish. Okay. Um. Let's see. My storage. Let's get the crab uh, pots. We probably should have put that out right at this very start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. It's three, 330 percent fishing speed, uh, and plus three aberration bonus. But it doesn't actually allow. It doesn't actually add any fishing catch abilities. Hmm. We only need ice fishing for around here. So let me take a quick look. Shipyards. And yeah, that is four squat. But yes, we have four slots. Hmm. Is there a way? 
Yeah, I don't think there's a way to have this equipped, this equipped, and the, the glyph as well. Hmm. So we either... Hmm. Actually... Or I just... Hmm, would I just rely on just thralling? That wouldn't really... Yeah. That wouldn't get affected by the glyph. Hmm. Repair. That's 1.5%, 2.5%. Hmm. It does help with the economy that I'm net. Yeah, let's leave the, let's leave that behind for the moment. We we probably could if we had more spots. It's not really a lost for one of our freaking eyes. Uh, anyways, then let's put one of these out there, one hundred meters deep. I think we have more crab pots, but I think they're over here somewhere. Yeah. Over shouldn't there, to be exact. Shouldn't you repair the hole? Yeah. Okay. I, can, hmm. I, I wonder how she uh, she reacted to that. Probably. Oh, nice, Rick. I'm getting paid again. There. Okay, anything in the net? And pizza is back. Welcome back. Welcome back. That's some fish. And yeah, it is keeping it is keeping them fresh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, some nine more minutes, and then I say we call it. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad they were gone longer, but I will not lie. I scraping the bottom of the jar for the last bit for every single little thing is uh, not necessary. Do I do hope we be able to give him his fish at least? Yeah, they'll probably ask for more as well. And yeah. Yeah, what we would probably get from that would probably not be too interesting to begin with, since it is a side quest. Okay, that's low enough, I think. Hmm. So, on the one hand, I'm a little bit disappointed, but on the other, this is only like six euros. So, and it, it's a good springboard for future DLCs, at the least. Yeah. You, uh, uh, actually, do we even need? No, we do. We don't even need a haste to get away from this thing. We could. We could probably just keep going with it on our tail. Does it get um, annoyed enough to just leave us alone eventually? And I think it gave up. It. Okay, there it gave up. <laughs> it's... Uh, let's see. Refined metal, but there's no need of that. Okay, so... Yeah, even that thing wasn't that much of a threat to begin with. Do I wonder... Uh, oh, no, we should probably not do that. Mm -hmm. Not annoy it intentionally. Uh, like, say it and let us see what happens if you do get, do get caught. Yeah, probably just damage. Probably two damage instead of one. Uh, let's see, pizza. Actually, I think either the si Siren Ivy is live right now since she did send a Discord notification or she's about to go live, so she's my rate suggestion. Okay. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll go out at night. Mm. And they, they really are just sticking in place here. They're not sure if that's just a local thing, 
If that's been changed with the patch, that those twisters don't actually move anymore. Mm. A prize toothfish. Let's see, 1.93 meters. Uh, let's see, can I shuffle things around a bit to lose the least amount of fish in this? There and there. Um, and that's about it. Okay. If, now let's see how much we can get with our toothfish. I don't think we're going to find the fish that the hooded figure wants. Okay. <clears throat> But yeah, I, I guess this is a bit of a show of where the strength of Eldritch Horror and such lies. It's in the unknown. Or the unknown slash the unknowable. Hello. King Crab. Believed to be descendants of hermit crabs, their asymmetrical bodies spiral uh, to fill a long lost shell. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the biggest horror with Eldritch Horror is that it lies in the unknowing, or the, the unknown slash unknowable. And with this, well, once you figure things out, they become known and become less, much less of a, uh, a horror. That's 83 for that. Okay. There, there, and there, and there. Oh, lovely. There. And... Hmm. I, I th let's, shall we call it there then? Because I don't think we're going to be lucky enough to catch the specific aberrated fish that the figure wants. Yeah, might as well. Okay, so let's pause one more night in the cold. Uh, any last and things that we can try? Let's give. Oh yeah, let's get. Oh damn it! Hmm. We don't have the lumber. Okay, let's give the portal thing a try at least. Yeah. And also, it... hold on a oh, second. Yes. Did that say? Bring in Mr. Krabs. We can retrieve that thing. Okay. Oh, that, that would be really useful in the main game as well. Yeah! Okay, that teleports us to the same spot as Manifest, though a bit further away. Okay. Yeah, that... that uh, it does cause uh, quite a bit of insanity, though. So, not for frequent use. <laughs> yeah! Okay. So yes, yeah, let's line uh, up here uh, again. I guess my dear, for the future, would probably be good that uh, next time we stream this game, it will be not with one DLC, but we'll probably with two or the all the other DLCs that comes with it. Yeah, if there are more to be, which well, the game is still successful enough, I believe, to get us some more DLCs. Okay. Uh, yeah, save and quit time then. Okay. Yeah, I, I honestly expected that this would take at least another stream. Same. For all the interest I've seen playing this, it did at least two episodes or more of this. Mm. Two hours episodes. All right. Uh, it could just be that they were trying to 100% things, but yeah, for now though, Let's head on over here, I'll close up the game, and I'll bring the browser forth to look for someone to raid. And let's see, Pizza said that Siren Ivy went live, it seems I forgot to give them a follow last time, because I'm not seeing them in my followed channels at the moment. So... Uh, past videos... Okay, it, it, se it seems that they did. They were live for like four minutes or so. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I guess they guess they are not live or 
pizza set they went live. It's... Okay, I'm guessing maybe they had technical issues or such. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to look for someone else. Yeah, uh, yeah, pizza. Uh, I might, I might as well show this then, pizza. I'll just pull this free to keep other things safe. Uh, yeah, it's not live here at the moment, pizza. I can refresh. Maybe they're trying again. Uh, yeah, they're just not online anymore for some reason. Uh, nope. Did not. Don't want to see the video. I wanted to try and <laughs> visit their channel. Right. Oh, oh that, I think I typed it wrong. Okay, that's on my end then. Uh, oh yeah, they're in, they're in their pre-stream at the moment. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that that was me fat fingering the name. So yeah, they are live. Uh, okay, let's copy the name. Actually, first though, uh, before we do anything, let's take a look over here. Oh, hello. Now here's a favorite of mine. Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, WBPL, is streaming that. Then we have Halloween continuing with Shadow Man. Karen I is playing Warhammer, Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Uh, I'm nice with Pokemon Scarlet slash Violet. I've started... Yeah, I've started... Yeah, no, I've not started. I've continued on with uh, Pokemon Sword after who knows how long. And I am I am getting back into that. And Pika's actually offered to, offered to help me a bit if I ever need it with Pokemon games since, well, she's a... <laughs> she knows a lot about Pokemon. She's a big fan of it. She... It, her, her, her username is literally Pika Girl, so yeah. Uh, um, next we have Lazarus, and okay, it seems that I that I am set to follow them. And let's move it away since they are now actually live. Uh, Charles the Moon Seal with World of Warcraft, Lazarus Super Mario RPG, Jackson Sam with Lethal Company, Ivy with House Flipper Two, and Doctor Misunderstood. Now, personally, I would <laughs> I would aim for Dark Messiah of Might and Magic because that is one of my all-time favorite games. Uh, or shall we go give Siren Ivy a visit? Because I am curious about House Flipper Two. I got I eventually grew bored of House Flipper One, so but I am a bit curious how, about how uh, Number Two is. She'll lean towards the Dark Messiah as well. Probably okay. because I. I'm not cared for house flippers games. Okay, uh, I I think I'll yeah let's raid WB then, and I'll I'll probably go visit Ivy on the side as well. So yeah, let's head on over to WB's channel, copy the name. Okay, channel and slash rate and paste but before we start it of course thank you everyone who's watching now or later thank you pizza thank you pyro thank you random marco uh, and thank you Durvan lord as well now are there any lurkers around uh sensei is lurking as usual <laughs> so thank you as well uh, sensei and thank you as always back here you're welcome as always my friend and thank you all who've been watching or listening to us for this Christmas Dread Special. <laughs> okay, I, I, I am still a little bit disappointed that it went so quickly, but it was still enjoyable while it lasted. And I pretty, I'm pretty sure I said the very same thing about Dredge itself. Uh, though a bit less harshly, maybe, because we did spend like 10 hours on that. <clears throat> um, we did have quite a lot of fun still with. True. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this DLC probably would have felt a lot better if uh, we had played it along with the rest of the base game, but again, still good. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not trying to bash it, but yeah. Uh, with all of that said, though, uh, maybe some streams tomorrow, maybe not. Depends on who is available and, well, if I'll be available in the first place. But beyond that... Uh, should be good for streams on Thursday, yeah, not th Thursday, Tuesday though, back to the regular schedule with Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, 
Well, it depends. We did say we might do next week uh, double as well, but if we were to do that, yeah, of the new year would definitely be back to regular uh, uh, timetable. But again, it's, it depends on uh, if Hila is up for it, I would say. Mm, yeah. Uh, just the schedule will be open. Let's leave it at that for the moment. <clears throat> yeah. Ugh, pardon. <clears throat> But for now, though, let's get that raid started. There we go. And, yeah. Uh, thank you all again for watching now or later. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Merry Christmas, good Yule. And watch out for hundred singles in the gift presents. And a giant fuck-off frozen narwhal. That's you. <laughs>